All right, so, so we got all our edges of cabbage still wiped in here on all the cracks, along all the seams. Now we're gonna lay our glass down. What do you think it's Andy? Looking good. Sandy's going somewhere. I'm not sure where. He's running away from me. We just put all this glass over the cavasil. All it's about a kick. Some late night measurements. Yeah. Looking good, Sandy. Probably should have taped the edges, oh well. Nah, I'm just trying to get it on the edge. You gotta sand it anyway, you know what I mean? True. All right, we got all the glass laid out, all the tabs laid out. Here's what we're looking like. Looking pretty good. We're gonna let this kick off and then we'll do our top layer. All right, it's the next morning. I got Ryan helping right now. And we got now the whole piece cut. We had to do it in like three sections. Let's cut it around here. We got it all sized up. It's all acetone down. We're going to lay some glass. Stay tuned. I can't even see out of here anymore. Okay. We got two quarts. You can mix it fast. We're getting there, boys. We're getting there. Okay. Annika and I, or Ryan and I glassed this last piece of the deck. You feel any movement there? No. Oh. No movement. Very solid. The new deck is extremely solid. I'm really happy with it. Hello? So I just sanded it all. And now what we're gonna do is lay all fair, a lot of all fair, about a ton of all fair. And we have to, like you can see the little bit of lip right here, is either I kept laying glass and then did a little bit of fairing, which I was really done laying glass. And this thing has got two layers of 1708 on top and two layers a ounce and a half and then a layer of 17 8 on the bottom this thing's got so much glass on it so strong i don't want to lay any more glass just because it's unnecessary so i'm just going to use a lot of all fair 
So we need to fill in the edges and make it all flush so our deck's one level again. And that's what we're gonna do. We got the fast here. I'm gonna denature alcohol the whole deck because when you're using anything epoxy based, and this is epoxy based, you use denatured alcohol. All right, so we got our fast cure and we got our all fair. We got the, two, the one to one ratio here. And we're just gonna mix this up. Don't know if there's a better way to do this. All I know is I need a lot of all fair for this job. That's it. I'm gonna mix this up just like this. Take a while until it's all one color, and then we are gonna start all pairing. This is the consistency that you're looking for. And we're gonna start, we need to start in a corner and work our way out of the corner. And the wants to start in this corner. Can I start in my corner? Sure. I'm gonna set up the GoPro, time lapse, stay tuned. We're mixing up the last of the all fair. That's what we got going on right now. You can come to the deck. This is the fast gear. This is the fast gear, so all that's already picked. So we're just working with it in small sections, but I'm mixing up the last of what we need. We're really gonna smack it on thick right here and then go back over whatever we missed. Get it level. This stuff's expensive. It costs two hundred dollars for just these two containers. But it's really easy to work with. It's easy to sand and it fixes your imperfections. And obviously, we put a whole new deck in the boat, so had a lot of imperfections. Oh, that time boys and girls take those shoes off honey this is one of the most important parts you guys right here be natured remember For any epoxy, denatured, or any polyester, acetone. That ain't gonna work. Scrub hard, honey.
Alright, we just denature the whole thing. I'll start in the back, the vanity pit. This is the front. Wow, very exciting. That was a good spread there. Think Adam. Same here. What do you think, Ryan? <laughs> well, we'll let him get the job done. Yeah. Can you, can you show him what it looks like down there. Ooh. Oh yeah. Getting them. Adam's really got away with this, with this brush. All right, we'll show you guys what it looks like after the whole thing's painted. First coat of primers down. Now we wait. Annika is waiting patiently. Just finish up with my second coat. Socks? No. You gotta get something on your feet. Well, you can just stand on the cap, right? Yeah. Alright, so we're ready to paint. It rained for the past three hours, so we need to wait. But I got the fiberglass Florida. This is kind of just like a mix of regular medium. And I got some extra course because we're doing the deck. I'm gonna do more medium than anything, but try and make a good mixture up. gonna do a little bit of extra and back to the medium no professionalism here guys but trying to make it as good as we can Ooh. I just emptied out a little you know natural pink Himalayan salt on natural. We're gonna mix this up and then we're gonna mix our paint. We're coating with the whisper gray all grip and also got the converter, the brush converter. So we're gonna mix this up and I'm gonna denature alcohol the deck and we'll see you guys on the boat. What did you do mainly medium? Painting here, boys. Part five. Part five. No worries. No worries. No worries. Part five. So what we're doing right now, boys and girls, is I'm just going over here with the roller, and then Ryan is going over me as you. will to see. Like 
show. With the sprinkler. Pink Himalayan. Sponsor me. Okay, as you can see here, it is 10.30 at night, and my first coat's dry. As you can see, it's not perfectly, perfectly even, and there's some parts where we miss on to get like there, but I'm not a professional, and it is what it is. So we're going to start painting. Gonna lay it on really thick here because we don't want to move around the old non skid. Look at the bugs starting to go towards it, they love paint, it's really crazy. You want to lay it on really thick with this stuff, that's what we're gonna do. So, I'm gonna get to it and yeah, and enjoy when it's done. Do I need to go get a pencil, Ryan? All right, look. I don't want this hanging up longer than we have to. So the minute it, uh, I go up there, clear here, clear that bucket and that hood. And I'm gonna come right in there. Here's what we got going on right now, boys and girls. We're putting the screws in for the deck. Just take a listen. That's the sound of a new deck with some screws. Rigs going back in, boys. Hee hee! Alrighty, boys and girls. We're loaded down. About to cross over to the Bahamas, you guys. This is the first time we're seeing repainted the deck. Ryan hooked all the wires back up, screwed everything back down, replumbed the live wells. Everything is back together. And 
put the boat in the water last night, just tested everything. Now we're crossing the Bahamas for seven days. So we're finishing off this segment of our fuel tank and deck renewal. If you guys enjoyed the video, it was a huge project and a big pain in the butt. Go ahead, drop a like if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And stay tuned for the next six days or seven days. We're going to Grand Cay and the Bahamas, staying at Rosie's. And we're going to take you guys along for the ride. Subscribe if you guys want to see upcoming videos. And we'll see you then. Peace out. Hey guys, so we are finally finishing off this series of the fuel tank removal. New fuel tank, new deck, and uh, that was definitely one of the hardest things I've ever done. Um, I had no experience in ever redoing a fuel tank like that. Obviously, that was my first one I've ever done. I just watched a bunch of YouTube videos and I just called a lot of friends and I kind of just picked my buddy's brains and learned off of the internet and went from there. And I'm really happy with the job. It's it is now, today is August 2nd. Yeah, today's August 2nd. So I have been fishing the boat nonstop. I've done two Bahamas trips now, two seven day Bahamas trips and almost probably, I don't know, I'd say 15 charters or so back home. So the boat's been fishing almost every single day. I've had zero issues at all. Um, I couldn't be happier and I get to say I did it myself with a couple buddies and I wouldn't have been able to do it without those friends. So thank you, you know who you are. And um, yeah, really cool experience to be able to do that and look back on it and say, I got that done. No, I never want to do that again. It was absolutely brutal. And yes, that job is 100% worth around $20,000 to get done. That was so much work, so much brueling, hardcore, nasty, dirty work. So I see why it is such an expensive job. But I did meet my deadline. 15 days I got that done and we ran to the Bahamas. I literally put the boat in the water at, Ryan and I put the boat in the water at 12 p.m. the night before and then we were still fixing a couple things up on the boat. And I think it was like 1.30 in the morning before we left to wake up the next morning at 7, 8 a.m. and run to the islands, load the boat and run to the islands. And that was the most rewarding trip of my life. Just the run over there felt so good getting over there and the clear, beautiful Bahama water. And we had an epic trip. It was actually the best trip of my life. We caught 100 pound yellowfins. We had amazing free diving, amazing fishing, amazing bone fishing, tarpon, muttons on the flats. I mean, you name it. We had really the trip of a lifetime. Um, so you guys are really gonna wanna watch these Bahamas videos that I'm gonna be posting. They're gonna be coming up shortly. Stay tuned. Please go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed to the channel. Um, and I also want to say a huge thank you to everybody who stuck up for me in the last video. Um, so many positive comments and so many uplifting words from you guys. So thank you so much. Because I know in the first video, there's a lot of people commenting negative things saying you shouldn't have bought that boat. You should never put this much money in that boat. You should have done this. You should have done that. I would have done this blah 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 keyboard warriors were typing away as they normally do which doesn't really bother me because i'm used to it but i really appreciate all the loyal moving weight fans in this last video that stuck up for me and said positive things so thank you so much to you guys um really helps pushing and keeping me going forward um so i just wanted to mention that also if you'd look for ways to support me or if you want to come fishing with me you can book a charter movingweightcharters.com i offer fishing guide services here in Jupiter, Florida. And if that's something you're interested in, check me out. I'm guaranteed to put you on fish. You are gonna have a great time, make great memories and leave with fish for dinner. Drop a like, subscribe. Till next video, moving weights out.